What's up? Welcome to Faith Vision. My name's Mark. I'll be your host for this episode. We're here on the Peter Pan bus. Going down to Battle Cry. Where's Battle Cry, Tim? Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Okay, well, I just want to say that every single one of you are leaders in your generation. Amen? Amen. And you, like most, you're going to cross the Red Sea. Hallelujah. The youth conditions today are just deteriorating, you know? Youth today are going down and, you know, something like this, a part of the fire, it just empowers people or it, it brings us together to unite on the cause and get together one to worship. I joined the campus ministry. It's called Campus for State for Christ. And um, we have events and um, we reach out on campus as much as we could um, while abiding with the university policies. Um, so that's something that I'm going to, to um, reach out to the to youth today on campus. Lord, we look at our past and we go now, as we go forward, Lord, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's no more walking down a passive little cultural Christianity. Lord, we're telling you we're going to be followers. Followers that are students, that are stalkers, that are going after you, Lord. Not reluctantly hanging out in church, but passionately following you. If that represents your heart this morning, would you just give the Lord a shout this morning? I mean, just tell him with a shout. Yes, Lord, that's me. I think they're like having faith in something. <laughs> faith is believing something and feeling very strongly about it. We've never seen Faith Vision, but we love it. I don't like really strong belief in something. Not necessarily even like religion, but like just like to believe in something. Everybody sing along. Moving. What is it to be doing? We've never seen faith vision, but we love it. What's up? This is Jeremy Camp. I've never seen Faith Vision TV, but I love it. Hi, we're Zoe Girl. And you're watching Faith Vision TV. I just want to help you to understand what is about ready to come to your region. For years now, I've been traveling with a ministry called Team Mania and Acquire the Fire, reaching out to really hundreds of thousands of kids, young people all over America, all over North America, all year long trying to do whatever we can to rescue this generation. But in spite of all that's been done in youth ministry for all these years, it seems like the enemy's been working harder. When you look at the big picture of what's really happening with young people, it's a cause for alarm and all of us ought to care about what's going on. It's time for all of us that even sort of care about kids to rally around them and rescue them. So these stadiums are going to be filled with teenagers and adults who care about rescuing this generation. And so um, I want to encourage you now to start making plans to think about how you can be involved in one of those bigger than life battle cry stadium events. Prayerfully asking God to capture the hearts of these kids. And we get up for a whole weekend and we're able to keep their focus and deliver God's word in a way that really makes sense to them. It's not just about having an event, it's about keeping their focus long enough for the gospel to make sense to them to, so that God can really warm their heart. They can see thousands of other kids really worshiping the Lord and respect responding to the Lord together. Us and you, if we rally around this generation, we could see something great happen and see literally thousands of young people come to Christ right there in your area. God bless you and we look forward to seeing what the Lord is going to do right there. what you know is true in your mind and in your heart, knowing that the Lord is with us always, and uh, just knowing it to be true. 
something in the future. When you, when you think of the, when I think of the word vision, it's more like, hey, something's going to happen in the future. This is what's going to happen, and something good is probably going to come out of it. Word battle cry. Unite. That's what comes to my comes to my mind. Because when everybody you out in an ancient battlefield or wherever, and you're going, uh, they all give out their battle cry. They're all in union. So. of the youth is today in this generation? It's not as good as it could be. Yeah, it could be a lot better. Well, what do you think's causing that problem? Um, TV, the music. Yeah. Just what, are, what kind of tools does the enemy use? Like music, Television. like video games, Television. peer pressure. Yeah, just um, drugs, alcohol, like whatever people want as a kid. Well, anything that is pretty much fun for the average teen probably against, you know, is against God. Because most teens, all they focus on is having fun with their friends, doing drugs, drinking alcohol, and some of them just have fun cursing God. Yeah, yeah. But what do you think is going to be the only thing that will help this generation? This generation? Yeah. The generation that believes in God. The people that are here for battle cry will be a big help for this generation. So what do you think about battle cry? Awesome. Best time ever. I recommend it to anybody. Awesome. Amazing, unhindered played. Uh, it was real cool. We're gonna see POD and unhindered again a little later. So uh, just stick around, stay tuned. Uh huh. All right. Hey, everybody, get ready. You move your body tonight. Uh huh. I am S to the P. So P. When it drop, huh? This is what I want y'all to do with me. Now let's go. Put your hands up like, hurry up and stand up like, go and do your dance like, do it how you do it when you, put your hands up like, do it how you do it when you, uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 yeah, put your hands up, yeah, put up, put up high, let me, let me see you do it, let me see you touch the sky, you can dance if you wanna, if you do it, do it right, get your two step on, one, two, to the side, got your fresh fit on, Fit it to the side and your kicks look right. Yeah, this joint feel right now. Make a move. Uh -huh. Make a move. Uh -huh. oh. Now what I'm saying is jump some more. And I'ma take it to the old school and rock some more. And if you know how to do it, pop lock some more. No matter where you at, stop and start rocking on. From the party to the street, keep it cracking, y'all. Now that's a real black party, cause it's popping on. Uh -huh. Do what you do. Do what you do. Uh -huh. Put your hands up like. Hurry up and stand up like Go and do your dance like Do it how you do it when you Put your hands up like Do it how you do it when you Uh, 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 yeah Uh, 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 yeah You know it's not a thing for me to get this jumping Play it in your boom box, keep this pumping I'm known to turn it out all up in a function I always get my all cause it's all or nothing I'm always in it in the middle of something Live and direct, you know I'm live and most them Whoa, 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 Yeah, you know I do it cause I cannot stop And that be the reason cause I love it a lot From the bottom I done came right over the top From cold to lukewarm, now boiling hot But don't get it twisted, I don't love it or not I do it like this cause I do it for God, hey Do it like, whoa, hey, do it like Put your hands up like, hurry up and stand up like Go and do your dance like, do it how you do it when you Put your hands up like, do it how you do it when you Just like that, keep it going strong. Don't, don't do it. Why would you do that, though? Be yourself. 
yourself in a place to be do that mo you can do it however do it how you want just do that do that do your dance for show now do it whoa, whoa, whoa. man do it whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah. get loose let loose and go get crunk get crunk bounce off the flow step clap with it lean back shoulder roll brush your dirt off your shoulder keep it clean for show do a donut in your whip make the alpines blow you can do it like that now everybody go hey Make you move like that, you know. Huh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Ha ha, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's what it do, man. I would say, like, our ice caps are melting, so global warming is going to take us out. <laughs> Unless we do something about it, like, resume with everybody else, we're going to die. Like, youth are just so good. up Talk caught the in their lives, they're not even, like, thinking about God. They say they're Christians, but yeah. they're not even acting There are like way too many people that are Christians and don't show it, don't stand up for what they believe in. Going to nursing home. Going to nursing home. Sponsoring a kid. Sponsoring yeah. a kid. Um, we do 30-hour famines and raise money. We raised over, like, $1,000. Oh, you guys did 30 hour famine? Yeah. yeah. We did it too. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're Charles from WV, West Virginia. Nice. Nice. You've heard, you've heard of the Living Bible. You've heard of the New International Version. You've heard of the message. This is the brand new one called the Metal Bible. Real steel. This makes a great weapon if you're witnessing to someone. You have a Bible already. Can't throw this. You have a Bible. That's for you. Give her a hand. There you go. So where you guys? Where you guys from? Easy. One more time. so busy, I miss the reason, I miss your love and I nearly missed it all, still you love me and you heal me, you give it all and it brought me to your cross, and I still don't.
You carried me through abuse and abandonment. You carried me through financial burden and depression. You carried me through divorce. You carried me through anger and bitterness. You carried me through low self-esteem. You carried me through alcoholism. You carried me when I thought you abandoned me. You carried me through the death of my wife. You carried me through cancer. You carried me through my parents' divorce. You carried me through war and genocide. You carried me through my time of loneliness. You carried me through a near-death experience. You carried me through anger. And I want you to turn your attention to the um, video screens to learn a little bit about them. Watch this. Congo, we've been through uh, Rwanda, Uganda, all these places, and uh, 
One thing we know is we serve a truly awesome and mighty God. Amen? And um, we come down into this area, and we we're going to minister the gospel to an Oromo tribe, which was down there. And we camped on the side of a river, and uh, we had a, a guide with us, and we had a tent. And we came out, and uh, you know, we put our first stack of logs on. It's beautiful Africa. We were praising God for being there. And, um, and a long story short, throughout the night, we had lions stalking our tent. And that's one of those moments where you're in there, you're praying, you're like, oh, Lord God, please protect us in the name of Jesus. And then as the lions come right around the tent with that deep bellow, and they're, they're sniffing around because they can smell the human flesh, you get real quiet and you start praying in your mind, you're like, Lord, we really need you at this moment. But a long story short, we did survive, and then, you know, God brought us through to preach another day. And that's what he does in every circumstance. He brings us through, take us out of the mouth of the lions, take us through wars to preach his word. So you guys are like, kind of like 007. God. <laughs> and so, okay, so here's a, here's a young man, a young lady sitting here today going, so, but that's your life. That's your story. Is this really like for everybody? And, and you know, every, most of us can think of all kinds of excuses why, you know, we sh it's not convenient to go or whatever. What would you say to encourage a guy or girl sitting there thinking, you know, I don't know if that's really for me. Well, it's, it all comes down to this moment in life. Many of you are probably at that decision-making time. You're in high school, or you're getting ready to move into what your life will be in college. You're going to decide who and what you are, or what your career will be. Well, at this moment in your life, you have the opportunity to say, Lord, I'm going to serve you. Whether it is in overseas missions, or whether it's right here at home, you have that time right now to say, Lord, what is your will for my life? And being able to go overseas and preach the gospel to people who have never heard before really is the calling of all who believe in Christ Jesus because the Lord said, go and preach the gospel to all creation. And if we're at this moment and if God is calling you in your heart to say, yes, do something more, go that extra distance, you're going to move into the adventure, the calling, and the wonderful path that the Lord has set for you if you just take that moment of boldness and say, Lord, I believe in you. I'm going to go for it. And the Lord will open up the doors. Don't worry about the finances. Don't worry about what will happen. Just say, Lord, I'm going to go for you. And God will really open up a way. I just have, like, such compassion for these people. And to see them, like, so excited and so overjoyed because they accepted Christ. It's just, like, so overwhelming. That's the lost people of the world is what it's all about. The only way that we would have that love for strangers is through God. We're going to be reaching a village that probably has never been able to hear the name of Jesus before. These kids are like so happy that they got toothpaste and toothbrushes. We brought just the love of God to these children. Go ahead, man. It's all right. It shows me how people really live. I see how much these people don't have. It totally just put everything in perspective. People live across the country where I'm just so just blessed to be in America. As I constantly have my mind on other people, I find myself like in the presence of God more. This trip has been one of the greatest and closest encounters with God I've had. I've never, ever felt closer to God than this trip. I've had a lot of trouble like being vocal about my faith and everything. So I think that whenever I get back, it'll be like a major yourself going I mean what what you think God has for you and again it doesn't necessarily need to be like the Christian thing um, it can just it can be a vision in anything with your life I mean what are you gonna do today what's your vision who are you gonna talk to how are you gonna impact the people around you are you just gonna sit around and do nothing about what you're seeing and what you don't agree with because I know that there are Christians out there and non-Christians who see things they don't like and they just stay there and they stay quiet and they don't say anything.